Presidential primaries are always strange, particularly in cycles like this, when there are essentially two incumbents running, and we've known at least three months before the first votes were cast who the nominees would be. Nonetheless, yesterday was Super Tuesday, and Trump won every state but one, and Biden won every state. That was pretty much expected. I suppose Haley's victory in Vermont is a little bit of a surprise. And for the next days and weeks, people are going to try to figure out what the meaning of this is, what we can determine from this. And the truth is, these primaries mean nothing. The only thing the primaries matter for is selecting the nominee. Probing too much after that, did it matter that Trump only got this percent, that Biden only got that percent, that the second place candidate said this? None of that really matters. There's no real evidence to suggest that that's true. But the punditry and the media want to talk about that because they want to talk about something. They're so obsessed with finding a story in the bizarre, irrelevant tea leaves that are primary results. The real story remains. This is an election between an essentially aging but reasonably competent and effective president who is on the center left and certainly has his flaws against somebody who would destroy American democracy and possibly the American state as well. And what percent Nikki Haley got in Virginia or how many people voted uncommitted in California, well, in Colorado, that doesn't matter.